بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته respected brothers and sisters our ICI community members our ICI families إن شاء الله everyone is doing well and we ask Allah عز وجل to assist and make it easy for everyone to go through these difficult times and we ask Allah to provide the best means for everyone, insha'Allah. Amin ya Rabbal Alameen. Today we are going to be concluding from the lessons of Qur'an the characteristics that we need to be aware of and to avoid is um, going into an action of accusing someone or being the, having the habit of looking down upon someone. This is something that is... Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered the believers to stay away from and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered the believers that um, whenever there is a situation, a person's approach, his understanding towards the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his understanding towards um, looking into different aspects should be an approach that is beloved in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when you adapt this behavior of having iftira and, and having accusations upon individuals, Allah Azza wa Jal, what are the effects, immediate effects that a person receives in his life? So number one is a person becomes the um, executor of the greatest sin in the sight of Allah Azza wa Jal because Allah says فَمَنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا مِنْ بَعْدِ, من بعد ذَلِكَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ Those people who start to have an accusation upon Allah Azza wa Jal and they uh, come up with an idea and they put it on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, from their own understanding Allah says these are the greatest oppressors found on earth also Allah Azza wa Jal mentions about um, those people who are part of this action of accusation, they are having the greatest, they have picked up a very great sin for them. Allah says, إِنَّمَا يَفْتَرِ الْكَذِبَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْكَاذِبُونَ Those people who go out and they spread lies and they spread misinformation, misleading information, Allah says, they are the people who don't believe in Allah. So by doing such an action, you come out from the category and from the uh, index of being a complete and a full devout worshiper, a mu'min in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah says, فَأُولَٰئِكَ وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْكَاذِبُونَ And these are the liars. So iman is lost and you have been given a title by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Instead of mu'mineen, you have become mukaddibeen or you have become kaadibeen. And uh, we ask Allah to protect us from these actions. Because many of times a person lives in this world and uh, due to the environment that he grows up, due to the surroundings that he grows up, as he inculcates good things inside him, there are habits there are bad things that also come in the life of human being because this human being has his nafs and then he has his ability to go against his nafs. For so uh, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَنَفْسِ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا That Allah says we take the qasam and the swear of this nafs and whatever it inspires and whatever it has been come up with and has the ability of evil and, ba evil and good. So the nafs has the ability to do good and to learn good. And the nafs has the ability to do bad and to learn bad. So when a person stays in the environment and the surroundings that he or she grows up in, are exposed to good things, we are also exposed to bad things. And sometimes the vices are more in our exposure than the good. Why? Because when the vices becomes common, then they are the one, you see the vices to be more than the virtues. So uh, many of times a person, he is doing a vice, he's doing something wrong, but he doesn't realize that he's doing wrong.
This is why Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to make dua to Allah, Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqa wa warzuqna tiba'ah wa arina al-ba'ah That, oh Allah, whatever is absolute truth and the right thing to do, oh Allah, show me that path and give me the ability to follow that path. Sometimes a person sees that he's doing wrong or the other action is right, but Allah Azza wa Jal takes away the tawfiq and the ability to do the good action, right? Allah says, وَإِذَا أَرَدْنَا أَن نُهْلِكَ قَرْيَةً أَمَرْنَا مُتْرَفِيهَا فَفَسَقُوا فِيهَا فَحَقَّ عَلَيْهَا الْقَوْلِ فَدَمَّرْنَاهَا تَدْمِيرًا Allah says, when Allah decides to destroy a nation, He tells the, um, the elite of that individual, of that community, or the elite of, of, of that area, to commit vice. He opens the doors of vice. So it is wrong. People are telling him what you're doing is wrong, but Allah has taken away the tawfiq from him. And then what happens is, then eventually the person goes into vice and he goes into that area of committing that sin. And then eventually Allah says, فَحَقَّ عَلَيْهَا الْقَوْلِ The statement becomes, or the haq becomes accurate upon him, it becomes exposed, it becomes apparent. فَدَمَّرْنَاهَا تَدْمِيرًا And then Allah says, we ask Allah for His protection, but Allah says that we destroy them. So destruction comes in an area, in a community, in a nation, not because of someone else's actions, but of the individuals who are residing and who are living in that area. It's not that someone else brought a flame of fire and he dropped it here and now everyone is getting burned. No. It's a fire, it's a flame that gets developed and it, it becomes within. And that within fire, it's found in the characteristics of individuals. This is why Rasul alayhi salatu was salam from his beautiful teachings has told us and recommended us and, and advised us to supplicate to Allah that, O oh Allah, whatever is absolute truth and right, give me the ability to follow that right. And if something that is wrong, something that is batil, something that is vice, وَأَرِنَ الْبَاطِلَ بَاطِلًا Show me that this is wrong. Not only that, a lot of times a person, he is doing something wrong in the illusion of thinking that he is doing the right thing. So, not that he wants to do the wrong thing, but he has been in an illusion that he is doing the right thing, but in reality that he is doing the wrong thing. So that illusion comes in. So, وَأَرِنَ الْبَاطِلَ بَاطِلًا Oh Allah, what is wrong? Show me that is wrong. وَرَزُقُ نَجْتِنَابَ And oh Allah, grant me the ability and the strength to stay away from the vice, from the batil, from the wrong, from unjust, uh, and all of those things that are taking towards that path. So, as from the Quranic uh, lessons, we can take that whatever vices are there, are wrong, are there, a person he is involved in misleading information, he is getting people into um, in arguments because of his misleading information, all of these actions and all of these behavior, all of that needs to be def uh, 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 rectified. And as long as Allah has given you life, Allah has given you strength, Allah has given you understanding, you are able to do things, you have the right, you have the, the authority and you have the strength to move away from what is wrong and go on the right direction. Until when? Until the last breath. And when that last breath is taken and a person leaves from this world, Allah says that those people who leave with vices in their account and living their life on that illusion that they were doing the right thing, Allah says, وَقَدِمْنَا إِلَى مَا عَمِلُوا مِنْ عَمَلٍ فَجَعَلْنَاهُ هَبَاءً مَنْثُورًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that when they would come to us, they will find all of their actions are gone waste. All of their efforts are gone into waste. All of their abilities that they have and the strength that they have spent, it has been considered to be spent on the wrong direction against the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Allah says in Surah Al-Kahf, قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالًا Shall I not inform you, O Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which person he will have the greatest lost when it comes to action? You know, in this world, people, they pursue different, different careers. They go into different, different businesses, right? And everyone wants to have the successful business or the successful career, and they want to have this, uh, have this uh, success in this life. But at the end of the day, you've spent so much, you have did so much work, and when you got to the end, you found out this was all illusion. There was no reality behind it. So Allah says, قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالًا Shall I tell you who has the lost, the most, least, the, the most amount of lost, the person that will carry on the Day of Judgment? الَّذِينَ ضَلَّ سَعْيُهُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ يَحْسَبُونَ أَنَّهُمْ يُحْسِنُونَ سُنْعَا It's that individual who made a lot of effort in this world, who did a lot of work. But unfortunately, due to the illusion that was in front, he was thinking that he was doing the right thing, but he was actually doing the wrong thing. This is why we have to be vigilant. We have to be understanding. We have to look into matters before we get ourselves involved in anything. Look at it that if I'm able to make the matters better or I would make it worse or I will bring the, all the wrong upon my own action. And at that time, ask dua to Allah Azza wa Jal that, Oh Allah, whatever is right, you show me and you direct me towards that right. And whatever is wrong, oh Allah, you show me that this is wrong and you take me away from that wrong. We ask Allah to help everyone to remove difficulties from the entire ummah. And we ask Allah to bring his assistance and his rahmah to the entire world, to the entire city and the, to, to our community, insha'Allah. Ameen ya rabbal alameen. Jazakumullah khair for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.